All right, back again. Today we are about to launch off the beach. First of all though, I have something to show y'all. We went to the store the other day and we got finally an actual minnow bucket or whatever you want bucket. So hopefully later in the day, we are gonna be catching some bait and we're gonna put it in that and the bait will actually stay alive, which would be very, very nice. It is a gorgeous day though. It is finally starting to feel like fall out here. We got a cool breeze and this just looks like, look at that. We have the cast out on board. We have some gulp, we have a bunch of different stuff, but yeah. Going out to the saltwater, again, you never know what you could catch, but I appreciate you guys coming on this adventure with me. I'm gonna stop talking, man. Let's get out there. I gotta set up some more stuff. And uh, yeah, let's have a good day, dude. I'm excited. All right, we are pretty much all set up here. Oh, see right in front of me right there. I was gonna go out and uh, try to fish with some artificial at first, but I, I just saw a whole giant school of something splash right by me. So that might be on the priority list today. Just get some bait just to have it we could float it around because we have our new fancy bucket and then let me show you actually what we got in the bag here so the other day i went to cabela's we got a bunch of different stuff we got hooks um look at these big old juicy gull this is six inches 15 centimeters that's a huge bait i have fished with those before flounder they'll eat them or really whatever we get on hopefully something today might eat those yeah we got a bunch of jig heads and stuff this is one thing man. see my goal today i would love to get some mullet for bait if we cannot do it with the cast net i uh bought one of these dudes old snag and hook maybe we can snag and drop some or just snag them and put it in our bucket i don't know if we see them today we're gonna be able to cast at them i'm just taking a look right now it's all about the pancake man we darn near got it down it's just like these fish move so fast that you have to cast it in front of them. First of all, though, we just want to get any kind of bait fish, but that is my goal today. One of my goals today is to get on some of those dudes. All right, let's get all set up and we'll be ready to get after it. Yeah, that water's feeling nice. The weather getting like cooler like it's been too. I just, I think any day now, it's just about to pop off here. The bite is going to be immaculate. All right, yeah, no, there's bait right over there. Let's go try to get that. Frick. There we go. There we go. Good size. That should be enough for now. Oh yeah, good size. Peanut bunker. All right, where's my bucket? Really good size. That is a good feeling. All right, so here's the plan for the bucket. We are just going to put this here. I don't have a rope, but we've got, this might even be better than a rope right now. All right. So the cool thing about this bucket, there is a lock right there. And then we could just do this. They are good to go. We'll see how long that lasts. It should work pretty good. All right, we got bait. Yeah. All right, to get better mobility, we're gonna bring that dude up. Where do we go first? There's people at the old pilings. I can't see if there's anybody at this old pier, but I wanna hit both those spots today. We're gonna be doing a lot of paddling and a lot of fishing, so I hope y'all are ready to catch some freaking fish. 
Hmm. I mean, we caught some pretty big ones over here last time. I Again, there's like maybe two boats over that way, but I don't see anybody over here. And again, there's nobody fishing off this pier. It is definitely a gorgeous day. We got the seagulls flying. It's uh, a bit choppier and windier than I thought it was going to be. It said like it was going to be like six miles an hour, just straight all day. It was a little choppier than I was expecting, but it's not bad. If you guys have not seen the last video, we went to this pier and we were fishing with some peanut bunker. Things got a bit crazy. We were catching some fish pretty good. Oh yeah, this is guy's kayak fishing with the, he's got the pedals too. It's my long lost brother and I wonder if he's catching anything. I just have to come back over here and try this again. I wish we had mullet, but I think that if there's any chance that we're gonna get some mullet in the cast net. It's a slim chance, by the way. You gotta like be very accurate and pancake just perfectly, but that is gonna be a lower tide. Right now, I just, I, I was chasing just schools of peanut bunker in circles, man. I was probably looking, man, I was getting dizzy. How's the bite? What's up? You been doing any yeah, not too bad. I just launched today. Okay, so we're gonna be starting on this side and this is all we're using. Lose Inshore Custom Speed Stick 7.2 Medium Heavy Moderate Action with the 400 series reel. 20 pound braid going to 30 pound liter. We have a one ounce bank sinker and then, yeah, this little rig right here that we're just going to thread one of our baits on. Oh, they're lively. This is the best investment. This was like 10 bucks. All right, let's get fishing. So again, we're just gonna kinda try to stick to our pattern here. Dropping the bunker near the pilings. Let's see if anything's hiding out. Surprised we haven't got any striper on these dudes yet. The past couple times we've been out. It is definitely blowing a lot more than it was supposed to today though. So again, basically what this rig does, I drop it down there, the weight kinda takes it to the bottom. And the hook's up a little bit and he's got some line to swim. But it just keeps it down in that strike zone, hopefully. And these dudes are very lively. This is, I'm telling you, this is the best investment I ever made buying one of these little buckets. Way better than the bubbler, I think. Especially with these bunker. You can only put a few in the bubbler bucket and they just croak anyway. So we'll see how long this actually can hold them in there. The tide's high, the water's kind of murky. I don't know if it's because of the wind or just the high tide or what's going on, maybe both. This bait, it's not only like moving crazily down there. I'm sure it's putting off some smell, but also, I mean, these things are shiny as crap. So any light or anything that's getting down there is just reflecting like crazy. It's not an easy bait to miss for these fish. Let's just say that. Oh, I just got bit. That's not a fish. Okay, that was weird. I was just, I think that was rope or something I was snagged on.
God. God. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Was not expecting that. Come here, boy. Frick yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh. All my stuff's falling in the water. Boom. Not a bad one, man. First striper off of this pier. Let's let him go. Thank you so much, buddy. There he goes. I got a mess back here. Holy crap, that thing freaking hit, dude. Whew. Just a little reminder that it is salt water. You never know. You know, I was actually surprised we weren't hooking into some of those using those bunker. Those things love bunker. Unfortunately, yeah, that was the last of our bunker. So we're gonna have to pivot. Either we go get more bait or we switch to artificial. Let's do like a little scouting. Come on, let me undo this. That just, that got the blood pumping, man. If you guys could go down there, hit that thumbs up button. Pump out some more luck, really would be appreciated. Let's get this boat ready to fly. Whew. We're gonna try to slide right through here. Looking good. Let me know in the comments below what your guys' favorite fish is. I gotta be honest. I mean, I've, I've caught a lot of fish, especially over this past year. We do a lot of traveling, a lot of different types of species. Just a lot of fish in general. I think striped bass has to be my favorite. Now here in Delaware, we don't really get like a migratory striped bass run. We barely, like sometimes we get a bluefish run, but if you kind of look at the uh, curvature of Delaware, it, it just passes us from north and then it goes like through New Jersey. And yeah, we don't really get that really cool striper run, but uh, my favorite type of fishing, man, on the beach or on the jetty, casting out, throwing lures, plugs and, hooking into those things. those things are freaking crazy you guys saw that was a, that was not a giant and he took us like i did not think that i was almost going to be able to get that guy in it's freaking strong dude mad respect for those fish Whew. it's been a while that we've been fishing out here though like i i'm not going to put all of it in. obviously we cut it up and stuff but just know we've been out here for like hours already at this pier trying to catch a fish i think we're going to try over there now but I'm gonna see if we get any more bait. I would actually really like some more. I do, I want some mullet. But I think the tide might be a little high still. We'll do a little peeking. As always, stay hydrated. I need to start doing that a lot more when I go out fishing. Oh man, even if you're just watching this video right now, indoors, in the bed, on the couch, whatever, crack open some water, go get some water from the water thing in the fridge, or if you have one of those, or the well, whatever the freak you drink. Cheers, y'all. This is too just life. Enjoying the outdoors. The sun is toasty, but it's got that nice fall breeze in the air. This is just perfect. Oh, I'm just sitting here talking about water. I just saw some bait pop. Hello. All right, beast the yak for a second. I think usually. Oh God, something sharp in my shoe. I think usually might be better to try to cast that from the pier. Cause I think this bait generally just gravitates towards it. See if we could see anything swimming by from up here. That's a better angle too. That did not work. It's pretty interesting out today. It's like kind of hazy looking, isn't it? All right, we're just gonna use the gulp, and then hopefully by the time we come back around town over here, tide is down, and uh, I just wanna see the mullet swimming. I, I know they're around, I see them jumping here and there. I don't know, I'm new to this, in Delaware at least. I, I've seen mullet in Florida and other states, and sometimes they just kinda chill, but these ones are just on the go. I don't know if y'all can really tell or not, but this is a lot less windy and unsteady than it was the past couple of hours we've been fishing. The past the whole day i mean that sun is we've been, we've been out here for a while i don't know if it seems like it's y'all or not look at this beautiful conditions now we just switched over to i think it's a quarter ounce jig head and it's quiet out here let's put on the white 
OG four inch women mullet. I do need to get back out on the pier though and actually try to catch a keeper flounder from the pier. That's one of my goals for the rest of 2022. There's a lot of people on it right now. There used to be a T that attached all the way to that pier, which I wish I could have seen that back in the day because that would have been a huge pier. But now it is broken because it burned. A lot of these pilings are underwater, so we gotta be super careful. First of all, for snags, which we're gonna get snagged. That's just like a thing out here. But also, uh, broke my boat one time out here. Don't wanna do that again. <laughs> I'm already getting bit. Oh, there we go. Oh, nope. I don't know what's going on. I was snagged, then my line got all weird. That's a fish. Oh, it's a baby. Why'd that fight so hard? Whew. First one of the day. Beautiful little fun. I'm not even gonna net this, dude. Might regret that. Don't think I will, though. Boom. As, oh, cheese. There we go. You wanna know this well?